One of the traps with painting whitewash is to create the illusion of, of dimension and depth in it. Um, whitewash stops light, so it has quite dark shaded areas in it if you look very, very closely. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to paint some shaded areas underneath the whitewash to create the illusion of volume. Um, and we're going to do a really lovely little wet in wet technique. So it's blending colours together while they're, t while they're wet. So I'll do that now. I'll mix up some burnt umber, phthalo blue and white. And I'll put a nice little line under the wave. And just strategically here and there. Put a little shadow. Okay, so now I just come back here and there again strategically. Those shadows. Okay. Now anything that has volume and, and is sort of um, irregularly shaped has variations in tone and colour. So I'm not happy with just having that nice dark blob there. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of white to that colour I mixed before. So I've got my burnt umber, phthalo blue and white mix. And this time I've backed off the phthalo blue and added ultramarine which is a little bit warmer and, and creates the illusion of the, the water or the whitewash sort of having little bits that are more exposed to the sky and slightly less in shadow. So, okay. Do that across there. Now I clean my brush and I get pure white. And now I build up the wave using that pure white to create the high spots. And I can come back and just soften while that paint's still wet. that transition between the shadows and the highlights. And again, punch it up again with some more white. And this is one of the things I love about the interactive, the Atelier interactive paints is that it just gives me that much longer working time means I don't have to rush so much. 